Hey baddie, welcome back to the baddest you podcast where every listen takes you to the baddest version of yourself. I am your baddie mindset coach, Ambria Harty. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube at Ambria Harty. Follow the baddest you podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. And in today's episode, we're talking about self-concept and how you are the one to impress. Being valued is your birth right you are here on this planet to live a life that you deserve and that is something that is completely up to you right dictating what it is you deserve understanding your value and your worth these are things that are all in your own hands but the first step is deciding i am worthy of the best i'm worthy of the best treatment the best people the best experiences all of the money i'm worthy of security safety love whatever it is i want i can have and so it's important for you to understand baddie that you are indeed the one to impress okay understand that because so many people get their sense of value from the world around them how much money they have how many people find them attractive how many likes they get online what if i told you that your value exists because you exist you were valuable since the day you were born you have infinite value as we speak and the only thing that separates you from that value is your awareness of your value repeat after me my existence is enough Okay, that is like your existence is more than enough to get everything that you want, everything that you deserve. You don't have to earn it. You don't have to prove yourself for it. You have you can work hard and show up as a new person and be motivated and transform into the person with what you want. But you don't have to prove as if you are desperate, as if you don't have any value. You are it. You are number one. And you are more than enough just by existing. Being valued is absolutely your birthright. You don't have to earn it or prove it. You simply have to decide that you will not accept anything less. Okay, baddie. So the first step when it comes to getting that treatment you deserve is treating yourself the way that you deserve to be treated. Having boundaries, prioritizing your well-being and your health, seeing yourself highly even if others do not you owe it to yourself to treat yourself like a high value individual how are you going to be the one to impress if you're not impressing yourself you have to own this new level of self-concept by embodying this new version of yourself the best version of me right how do they show up in life what are the actions they are taking how do they respond to certain situations you have to show up as that version of yourself and you have to do it with your chest because you don't become valuable by having more things or getting the things that you want or getting other people's validation you become valuable by deciding that you're valuable and walking as if you are valuable so ask yourself what would the most valued version of myself do at this time and move in that direction okay baddies secondly choose only what chooses you this is your life you do not have to sit in your head about why people aren't choosing you why you didn't get that job why the opportunity didn't unfold you have to start having an abundance mindset i am worthy of the best the best is yet to come i'm not lacking i couldn't lose even if circumstances aren't showing it i still get what i want you have to have this abundance mindset so be selective with your focus whatever you focus your energy and attention on baddie it grows so you're not going to ever sit in your head about well this person didn't choose me because you're the one to impress they don't have more value than you you're not going to sit in your head about oh this person they they talked about me or they probably think negatively of me or this th this situation didn't work out or i was rejected you are not going to sit in your life as the co-creator as the main person who decides what has value and dictate you don't have value this is your life you deserve to be in the driver's seat you deserve to think accordingly in a way that resonates with you being the prize that is your birthright and the only thing holding you back from that is you feeling worthy of that but what if i told you that person doesn't dictate if you're worthy these people can't dictate if you're worthy that's not anybody else's business this is your life this is your territory to create not anybody else's so take your power back have mental boundaries with yourself y'all know i love mental boundaries mental boundaries is this idea of saying i don't allow myself to xyz right you don't try to control the world around you you simply owe it to yourself to show up a certain way so as a person that's value you don't allow yourself to chase people right or you don't allow yourself to have other people on a pedestal in your head you don't allow yourself to put other people's feelings before yours because your self-concept is i'm the one to impress i am most important i deserve to live the life that i want and i'm going to do everything i can to create it for myself it's about taking ownership over your experience because you have all the power right based on everything i've said thus far 
you have all of the power. You're not lacking. You don't lack the ability to have what you want. You simply lack the ability to believe that you can have what you want. And if you knew you could have what you want, you would be moving in that direction, not sitting in your head about not having what you want. And you can have anything that you want. But the first step is deciding you are worthy of it. It is a privilege and an honor to be in your presence, buddy. Repeat after me. It is a privilege and honor to be in my presence. Being in your presence is a blessing. Your presence brings so much positive energy to people's lives. You love people. You give unconditionally. You honor people. You see people highly. You do the best you can to make sure the world around you is taken care of. Understand that you are such a valuable person, not only for what you do for others. You're beautiful. You're attractive. You're smart. You're intelligent. You work hard. You have goals and ambitions for yourself. There's huge things you want to create for yourself in this life nothing can stop you you're healing you've been through so much you're getting up day by day by day and being a better version of yourself when other people are choosing to be literal villains you owe it to yourself to understand the value you truly have being in your presence is a blessing it is a privilege to be in your presence is a privilege so the first step is treating yourself accordingly why are you looking to impress anybody else when it's a privilege to be in your presence why would anybody else think it's a privilege to be in your presence if you're you're just giving anybody else access to you readily without paying without earning your price you have to understand that people have to earn access to you because the energy you're spending on other people could be used for yourself could be used for building that business could be used for building that body in the gym could be used for getting your education for bettering you for building your finances you could be using your energy for you but you're using your energy on less and that's what we're going to stop right now you are the one to impress that is anytime something shows up that you do not like that you do not deserve start rewarding disrespect with a lack of access to you that's a lack of mental access as well that means you don't go in your head thinking about it over and over and over repeat after me anything i don't like does not get my attention negativity does not affect me you know why, baddie? Because there's bigger things to focus on and that bigger thing is you and your life's purpose. You don't have the time or the luxury to sit in your head about people and circumstances and situations that can't even control if you win or not. The only person who can control that is you, unless you choose to give your power up to this person, this situation, this thing. Stop doing that. This is your life and we don't have that much time on this planet. So I personally would take all of the opportunity I could to create what I want with the time that I have, with the focus, with my energy, right? Instead of being in my head about people who are not giving me what I deserve. Remember, you're too busy being number one to notice if that person wants to be fifth place, let them be fifth place. You're too busy being number one. Anything not choosing you is number two. You're too busy being number one to notice. Let people earn you for all my baddies watching sometimes you guys are, are so hard on yourselves perfectionists you want the best right and you want to get it and you can be so hard on yourself in the process having a huge imposter syndrome but the biggest thing you have to understand baddies you are worthy of being earned you get up every day work the way you work show up the way you show up have the beauty you have the consistency the effort do you understand that not anybody can just access you Right? Not anybody just deserves to be in your presence. People have to earn that. You are a high value individual and that is rare. You are a baddie and that is rare. So you have to treat yourself accordingly. You have to protect your energy. You can't just allow anybody to be in your presence. They have to be putting in the same amount of effort you're in in life. They have to be focused. They have to be spiritually inclined. They have to be intelligent. They have to be educated. These people, friendships, family, romantic relationships, whatever, these people must match your baddie energy in order to have access to you. So let people earn you and be okay from walking away from people, places, and situations that are not choosing you. Sometimes it's you, literally the universe being like, hey, this is not meant for you. Choose a better path. And that's okay because there's only better. That's why an abundance mindset is so important because if you keep holding on to the things that are making you feel less than, that are making you feel anxious, that are making you feel afraid, that are making you feel stagnant, making you feel ugly, making you feel insecure, if you keep holding on to these things, all you're doing is preventing yourself from having what you truly want. The only reason why you don't have what you want is because you don't think you're worthy of better. You don't think you're worthy of better. You are proof that you are better. Your existence is proof. You are literally better than whatever it is you're trying to hold on to or whatever it is you're trying to prove yourself to. So stop trying to be chosen by people who are not qualified to choose and start choosing yourself. Let them earn you and be okay walking away from anybody or anything that's not giving you what you deserve because the second you let it go, the second better can finally come in. Okay, buddy, so just remember, you're the only person that dictates your value. You are the only person that dictates your 
value. Anybody else focused on you is a fan because everybody else should be focusing on themselves. So if, if they're taking time out of their day to focus on you, to have an opinion about you, to think about you, baby, that just means that they see you as more valuable than them. Because if they saw themselves clearly, they would be focusing on them. So if they see you highly, that's the only reason why they're trying to take you down. So don't focus on it. Don't give your power up to it. Anything you do not like does not get your attention. You know why? Because you are the one to impress. Think about it as haters. Haters will go out of their way to try to speak negatively just so they can have access to your energy, just so they can affect you. But you understand your value now and you understand your worth now and you will not allow people, places, situations, or circumstances that do not deserve you to have access to you or your energy now because you understand your value, you understand your worth, and you understand that you are worthy of better. And finally, baddies, allow no one else that power to dictate your value, to dictate who you are, to dictate what you deserve. You are the only person that determines that because this is your life. You are the one to impress. Take everybody else off a pedestal because the only person that deserves to be on a pedestal in your life is you and start treating yourself like a person of value because you are a person of value. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this week's episode of The Baddest You Podcast. I am your baddie mindset coach, Ambria Harty. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Ambria Harty. Follow The Baddest You on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. And I'll see you beautiful and amazing baddies on next week's episode of The Baddest You. Bye baddies. Mm -hmm.